Jefferson um, struggled a lot growing up with uh, uh, with polio, and of course, as he got older, with its effects. And at the point in the story, he is he's trying to win the town's sweetheart, and he's he's already come from a, a very uh, difficult background. He's also on the county commission. He's he's thinking about going into politics, and I, I think there's a, there's a lot of of uh, uh, conflict that he's trying to overcome with his with his physical aff affliction, uh, the fact that his friends have gone off and and served in a war that he couldn't, uh, the fact that he was unable to uh, do so many things throughout his life, and now he's he's at a point in his life where he has he has a chance to grow in a different way to overcome this, these struggles. And as he's at this point in his life, he's just about accomplished some very big things to him. And um, here comes someone who's about to take something away from him. And uh, he's not very happy about that. So, trying to learn the walk and, and, and study that from a technical perspective and try to try to naturally recreate that uh, was difficult at first. Took took a while and and not sure I ever really mastered it, but I, I I'd gotten better over time. And so I hope that turned out well. <laughs> it got to where it felt more natural. Um, but yeah that was that was difficult to work with at first and, and trying to get back not only the technical aspect of it but trying to understand really what it was like growing up with that and trying to relate to that through my own experiences and um, so but yeah I, I felt it actually got to the point where it, it felt like a part of me so. working inside Davies Plantation I you know I, I've lived in Memphis all my life heard of it known about it and never been there and you know um, it was a really really neat place and, and added a lot I think to the atmosphere for the set and as far as, as being there and, and being in the moment um, everything from the sound of the, the floors when you walked on them to the, the way it echoed off the walls to uh, just the feeling of, of the walls and the, the the old piano that was there and uh, the furniture, just everything in there really uh, lended itself to being in the moment as an actor and in the scene. And it was a, a beautiful place. And uh, as far as the character of Jefferson, being able to, to see him having walked up to the front of that house and the times he must have spent in that yard uh, and, and the times he was out probably playing baseball and, and just, just being able to, to look and, and spend time in the yard, in the house, um, and soaking in that, that environment was really, really helpful to me. Now, uh, Jefferson had just found out that uh, Mazzilli had, had mistreated Hope. And um, he finally des decides to, uh, to stand up and do something about it. He's, he's been really, really angry and suspicious up to this point. And so he goes and he finds him at a bar. And he, he walks in and he, he approaches him uh, with, I think, I think, some trepidation, some doubt, you know, What's this going to do to a lot of things? My career, my political career. You know what? what what's what's going to happen? What? Am, I, you know, I'm not so sure that Jefferson knew exactly what he was going to do when he got there. I think he was just in in such a rage. And um, but he confronts him, and finally uh, finally stands up and, and hits him. And they get to a fight, and uh, and that was a, that was an incredibly fun scene to do. 
and uh, we had worked with Pat um, beforehand, the stunt coordinator, and uh, worked that out a lot. And that was, uh, hadn't done anything like that in a long time. So, uh, but that, Pat was great to work with, and uh, we we had a lot of fun doing that scene. One of the things that I really enjoyed about One Came Home was working, not just working with, uh, well, was working with, with everyone from the cast and the crew, but also with David too, the writer, and, and being able to, to feed off of him when we first got the script and we're doing table reads, and being able to exchange ideas with him about Jefferson and about the character, which helped me a lot in, 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 in the character analysis and, and creating that, the history in the background and being able to appreciate and, and get to know that character better. And David was great to work with on that. And I thought he did a really good job in writing. And uh, this is a very realistic and, and touching story uh, that, that it touched me deeply in a lot of ways and I think a lot of other people too. And I, I really hope that you know, that we as 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 a cast were able to to bring that alive for people because it really is a story that's that's more than worth reading, watching, and listening to and understanding because I, it, it's a very uh, very deep and and meaningful story to me. And, and I hope I hope people will see that.